didn't see you there. What? Now, now I do. Welcome to Henry's cooking show, where we cook. Um, as we all know, we're getting into the season of Thanksgiving, so we wanted to teach you a Thanksgiving classic. For this one, we'll be doing the classic peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> A lot, of, a lot of kids are intimidated by this, but you only need three ingredients. Bread, peanut butter, and you guessed it, jelly. So let's get started now. The first ingredient, you'll need a plate for sure. Let's just lay it out right there. Um, and you know, you may need two knives. One knife if you're fine with cross-contaminating. So let's uh, get right to it then. First, you really want to just unpack the bread. Um, I like using this nice artisano bread because I'm an artist. The back of this yeah. um, You lay these two slices out right down on the plate right, like so. But you don't want your bread to get stale. So you go and twist it up a notch. You got this little tie there. This is actually made of plastic that'll go into seagulls' throats in the Gulf of Mexico once I throw it away. But right now we're just enjoying the uh, reaping, reaping the benefits of this bag of bread. Well, we got all that squared away. So make sure you you clean up as you cook so you don't slip and take a tumble. <laughs> so now it's really up to you to where you want to start with. I use Skippy Natural peanut butter because I know Skippy Regular will give me cancer. Skippy Natural will give me slightly less, um, and I'm all about the uh, healthy life. Also, make sure to check your expiration date. Best if used by December 29th, 2018. <laughs> that was a stickler there, but uh, here we go. The signature Skippy logo to know that it's fresh and just made for this specific peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Um, here we go. You want to take the knife and just like that into it, um, and just let it sit there for a little bit, and that we'll, we'll get to that later. Here, I don't have a lot of uh, jam left. They say it's jelly, but you gotta use jam for this jelly. You're just a maniac if you use that. So jam, it's jam, and uh, as opposed to, as w with the berries, there have been centuries of debates on which berries to use. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's all the same. You just gotta, you just gotta stab it right in there. And you can, I, see, I, I, I'm a jelly man. Shelly, you're just a maniac. I'm a jelly man. Shelly, you're just a maniac. It's I'm Shelly, a jelly you're just man. A maniac. So I, I put jelly on every dish that I use. That's why I'm running low. Well. So you gotta bear with me here. So you just, you just take it. You just take it. And you just, you see that? 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 You do it more. Oh, jeez. You do it a little more. Um, she does not look like we have enough for one sandwich. Uh, crisis alert. But luckily, I have a, uh, a Smucker's Squeeze Jam sponsored by the uh, American wing of the Olympics. What's unfortunate about this is that, um, I don't know if you can see that there, but it has expired three years ago on October 7th. So we'll just kind of figure that out as we go along. Uh, see, it's got a nice a slot, good slot uh, to kind of just all that jelly out. You know, and that's what we want. We want a th fat sandwich. Uh, uh, but I don't really, you can make your sandwich even fatter by not even using the slot. What I like to do is just open it up and here we see three years of expiration there and you just pour it out. You just pour it all out and you know, like, geez, you like that, you know? The more jelly, the better. That's what I say. That's what I say. Um, and you want these, uh, Christ, 
you want it to be really expired. Like really, like it's, I mean this isn't even, in my opinion this actually isn't enough. Because I'm a jelly man as I've said before. Um, no, the expiration isn't for a lot of, for a lot of people, but for me, it's good enough. Um, yeah, so now that we got our jelly, now that we got our jelly side over with, uh, let's see how our peanut butter's doing. All right, seems like our peanut butter's ready to go. Uh, so you just gotta do that. You just gotta take the take the knife and spread it like we did with the jam earlier, uh, and then we're good to go, basically. You know, it, right now it's really even. You don't want that. You don't want even. Um, you're not you're not a smooth guy. You know. I mean, I'm not. You specifically are not a smooth guy. Um, so we want to get this. We want to get this. Uh, topography of the uh, second one is as diverse as possible. The best oh, chef in my yeah. Yeah. special, and we're gonna bring in some of our friends from the Fruit Kingdom. Uh, here we just have a regular old cut uh, cutie, also cutie if you want to call it that. It's weird. And you're you're, you're you're peeling, you're peeling, you're peeling it away. And what's interesting about this is that it's actually biodegradable, but it'll degrade even better into your uh, your immune system kind of train you up so just put it like that um like that uh try and get it in one peel that was a rookie mistake on my part um but this part you can just slam it right there uh, if you want for um just for you know what the heck's sake but for those of you with a, a sweet tooth out there uh we went into our fridge we found some vanilla bean ice cream and um, this is really if you want to make your sandwich pretty crazy. You just gotta scoop it right out. Just gotta scoop it right out. You really want to use a lot of wrist in that motion there. And just lay it down. Just lay it down easy like that. It'll melt obviously, but that's what we want. We want the contrast between the temperatures and those ingredients and kind of see how those play out. Well, sweet tooth aside, um, you know, I didn't, I wasn't really sure if I should teach you guys this technique, but, um, you seem to be smart learners, so, uh, let's give it a try. <clears throat> if you have matches in your home, you can, uh, just, just, just lay one out real quick. Um, oh, yikes. That's a premature fire alarm, am I right? Ooh, just yeah, give it a strike. Yeah. You know, just give it a strike, nothing wrong with that. And you can actually burn the ice cream a little bit, um, but, but more importantly, the peel. It's about the peel here. If it can light, I mean, geez, right? All this uh, climate change. You'd think it would change a little faster for this orange peel. That's oh, you yeah. Can yeah. A sizzle there on the mic. No. That's what's picking up there. That's that's what we want in our sandwich to know that it's it's well cooked. It's well cooked and it's not going anywhere. You know, because that's what this is all about, really. Yeah, uh, oh, there it, there it is, there it is. So, you know, if it's if it's not going fast enough for it, just hold it over. Just hold it over, hold it right over, and it needs to catch, it needs to catch. If the, if it doesn't catch on the fire, something's going wrong. Call a doctor. So, listen, I, just, while we're doing this, I can fill you in a little bit on my life. I went to chef school, yeah, like that, uh, singed, singed. And you can just throw the, just kind of throw the match in there too. Um, time to cork up our match bottle. Um, so this came as a surprise to me when they said I would be something and the host of a well-known cooking show. Uh, some of my mustache, you can put that in there too, to kind of have the taste of age, of losing hair and stressing out uh, through sleepless nights. Yeah. yeah. So this is great. This is all great, but one final ingredient would really make your Thanksgiving day. Let me get that for you. Jeez, if I can find it, am I right? The best. Yeah. yeah. Bam. Andy's organic fruit snacks. You know, this is what a chef's bread and butter basically is, you know? Um, now a lot of you have been emailing me saying that you know, Henry, Henry, what's going on here? You, 
you, you you take the wrapper off right before you eat these. You don't. You don't. You gotta slam it right there, and that's how you know that that you're you're in you're in beeswax. But you know, for just diversity's sake, we'll do half and half here. So I'm gonna open this, and we'll, we'll pour out a good half, a good half right there, and then half of, half of the package will go in here as well. So finally, finally, the finale of every sandwich. We're just gonna close it. We're just gonna close it right up. Um, and watch how smooth this is, because years of practice here uh, in the making. There it is. And a little bit of expired jelly there, so nothing wrong with that. Um, but a lot of you, you know, you're on the go. You're on the go, or maybe you're in Alaska, or friends up in Alaska, and you're eating cold food. So, you know, you gotta be sure you gotta be sure to, to go on the go and have it be warm, have it be warm. So, you know, we wouldn't traditionally do this, but since it's Thanksgiving, it's cold outside, let's give it a quick microwave and see how it goes. So here, there's our masterpiece. You know, I use this as a bread box for all you ladies out there, you know. Um, you just gotta take all the bread out. Um, take the grate out too, you don't wanna make my that am I right? Um, just set it in there. Do uh, and you know, weight is needed, guys. Weight is needed, guys. And there it is, guys. Our sandwich. Um, so have a happy, happy uh, Thanksgiving. Well. It's been a fun one, guys. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make this vital Thanksgiving dish, and I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving day. I hope you are grateful for your, uh, anyone, really. Um, yeah, I'd like to thank, uh, he Heinrich. Um, Hello, darkness, my old friend. I I'd like to thank Heinrich. Um, I'd like to thank the kitchen. I'd like to thank all the ingredients that I used. I'd like to thank Skippy Natural for um, saving me from regular Skippy. Uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Um, until the next one, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you on the next one.